my name is Marilyn and for this video I'm going to be transforming into the most beautiful girl from the Crybaby gang, Hatchet Face. Crybaby is my favorite movie ever. I could just put it on and watch it and listen to the soundtrack every single day. And out of all of the characters, Hatchet Face has my favorite lines in all of the movie. I've always wanted to dress up as her and I did do her makeup I think once for a Halloween but I did not have the skill for it, and even though this is super messy, there is a method to the madness. I love messy makeup, so if you'd like to learn how to do this hatchet face makeup, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well. And before we get started, please make sure to check out all of my social media linked down below. In order to achieve those mixed match eyebrows that hatchet face has, I have to block my eyebrows. Here I'm using the glue stick method, which I do have a tutorial for up on my channel, so make sure to check that out if you don't know how to block your eyebrows. It does take a few times practice. It even took me about a week to learn how to properly lay down my hairs with this, so I'd recommend trying this ahead of time. The next step is going to be to powder down my brows, and for my face as well, I'll be using this Ben Nye Super White. My eyebrows are actually pretty long at this point, so it took me four layers of glue to really get them to stick. This layer of powder is going to reinforce all of the glue to stick down and give it a smooth surface. Using a brush, now I'm dusting away any additional powder. For foundation and concealer, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow in the shade Vanilla and the e.l.f. Matte Camo Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. Since I blocked my brows, I can't apply my base as I normally would before concealing up these eyebrows, so I'm just going over them with the concealer really lightly to cover up my hairs. I'm using a beauty sponge to blend all of this out, and this one is by e.l.f. It's called their Total Face Sponge. I love crazy eyebrows. These ones are going to be so cool and mixed matched, and I have actually done another mixed matched eyebrow look for a more artsy makeup video that I filmed before. Even though these are crazy, they can still be actually really pretty. If you haven't seen the movie Cry Baby, first of all, don't talk to me. <laughs> it's my favorite movie. You have to see it. And Hatchet Face from the start is so funny and iconic. Everything about her character, from the things that she does and says and how she looks like, is a really good example of all of John Waters' characters. His films are known as cult classics for the way that they trashily express social commentary. I love it. Once I've concealed my eyebrows, now I'm going over them one last time with powder to prep them for my foundation. This time when I blend out my powder, I'm blending it into my skin. This is to help all of the layers underneath to come together for one consistent texture for the next step. I chose this foundation because it kind of washes me out. It is the correct shade, but it has a more neutral tone to it. My skin is a lot more warm toned. Hatchet Face has really highlighted under eyes, so to recreate that, I'm just taking the same concealer that I used for my brows and placing a lot of that in the center of the high points of my face. The overall feel of this makeup is not really cakey, but more as if you were looking at someone and they had on a mask of cosmetics. We've all had a bad foundation match or have forgotten to dust off some powder here or there, so that's what I'm pretty much combining into this look. I've left the concealer on my forehead kind of sit there so that it can thicken up because even though this concealer is really pigmented, it is really thin so I want to get as much coverage and let it thicken up over my eyebrow coverage for the most impact. Even though the girls of the Crybaby gang are a little bit trashy, they're still very glamorous so once I have all of this concealer blended out, I'm taking whatever is left over of the powder on my sponge and pressing that underneath my eyes. Once I'm happy with that, I'm just going to leave the skin as it is for now and move on to the eyes. For brows, I'll be using this brown shade called Wolf and it's from the Black Moon Cosmetics Orb of Light palette. This first eyebrow is a very classic sperm eyebrow shape. It's going to be downturned and have almost a hook in the front and then be downturned and sad towards the end. I never thought I would be sitting here telling you how to do sperm eyebrows on my YouTube channel. <laughs> And on the other side, I'm going to be doing a really high arched circular clown eyebrow. This brow is definitely bigger than the other side, so I'm also going to be dipping back and forth a lot. Or in order to get the pigment of this eyeshadow to be really bright, you can also just wet your brush a little bit with some setting spray. I love doing looks like this that challenge me to be a little more messy because sometimes it's fun to just let go. You can see I'm like going back and forth so much and not being very confident in my placement of this. And that's why for the next step, it doesn't really matter. You're going to go over it with some concealer. 
Although these eyebrows are very imperfect, I want to make sure all of my lines are super sharp. Another one of John Waters' characters that has some really unique eyebrows is Divine, and if you haven't already seen the documentary I Am Divine, I would also really recommend that. It gives a great overview of Divine's impact on pop culture, as well as John Waters' ideals and aesthetics without actually having to sit through pink flamingos. Now I'm setting the concealer once again with a super white powder to prep it for my eyeshadow. I'm using the Sugar Pill Taco eyeshadow to set all of that work underneath my eyebrow. This shadow is going to highlight under there as well as conceal all of the work because it is very, very pigmented. Hatchet Face has this sort of halo eye going on so I'm also going to be adding that down the center of the eyes. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow on a small smudger brush and really packing it on all over the corners of my eyes. You can see I'm pressing it down onto the corners and stippling it on almost to create a really smudgy look. Then I'm smudging it all over the bottom. The shadow is super pigmented and dark so I'm going to try to be a little more light handed and blend out my edges as I go along. Since I did draw my eyebrows higher than my natural ones, I also want to take this eyeshadow above my crease so that it shows when my eyes are open. I'm using the LA Girl Glide On Gel Pencil to create a winged eyeliner. I'm starting the shape by outlining my under eyes and then working out into a wing. Each wing pretty much matches each other's eyebrows so I'm going to be starting by lining my top lid. And for the higher arched eyebrow, I'm going to do a really high and long eyeliner wing. Which means the side with my sad sperm eyebrow gets more of a flat and thicker wing. Hatchet Face is a member of the Crybaby gang and she is the toughest one probably out of the whole group. Her first instinct is to get really violent with everyone and no matter what anyone says, her boyfriend Milton and Crybaby himself always tell her how beautiful she is. This look that I'm recreating is specifically from the scene where Crybaby is being broken out of jail by Hatchet Face and her boyfriend. I love the styling of her all black outfit and the headscarf. It was just such a perfect look. I had to recreate it. For the makeup, the darkest part is actually the eyeliner. So since these eyeshadows are so pigmented, I'm just going through with a clean brush and softening all of my edges to diffuse the pigment. Next, I'm going to finish off my face by adding this blush and it's in the shade Just Bare by LA Girl. I'll be using this almost as a bronzer all over the face. The look I'm trying to achieve with this product is more like a violent sun-kissed complexion. Once I apply it to my cheeks, I'm also going to take it up onto the forehead. As well as onto the chin, I love adding blush to my chin, it looks so cute. And then really just going in on the center of my face. So I'm packing it on top of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and then as well as around my mouth. Just to tie everything together. Now I'm going in with my mascara and I'm gonna go crazy with this stuff. This one is my favorite thickening mascara and it's called Highly Rated by Milani. And with this first coat, I'm just taking off all of the powderiness off of my eyelashes. Then I'll be going back in and creating mascara splotches all over in the corners of my eyes. Layering all of the different textures of the smudged eyeshadow and now with this mascara, it's going to look perfectly disheveled. And to complete the eye, I added these 205 Ardell eyelashes. The last step is lips and I'm using the Carity Candied Red Lipstick. The shape of this lip line matches the eyes as well, so I'm drooping down one side of my bottom lip to the sperm brow side and then for the highbrow, I'm going to be overlining that top lip and then messily filling in the other side. It was really hard for me not to go in and touch up everything too much, so for my final details once my lip is done, I'm just going to add some additional pigment to make sure the color goes all the way out onto my lip line. Sometimes it is hard for me to stop because if you leave me sitting here for more time, I will go in and perfect everything. But of course, there's nothing the matter with Hatchet's face. It's just so funny to see how my face takes to her makeup but I'm just going to go on and put the whole costume on and this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching my hatchet face makeup tutorial. If you like this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel as well.
For a closer look of all of my makeup, you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Merlin Mugbeat. I'll see you next time. Bye.